Never knew there were so many ways to spiral cut a potato. <laughs> Personally, I'm growing tired of TGI Fridays every Tuesday. Why don't we go crazy next week? You know, I hear they have spicy hamburgers over at Chili's. Oh, yeah. I heard that too. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Mr. Mike, your one o'clock appointment. Mr. Mike? Mr. Mike, this is Mr. Steve, Mr. Vince, and Mr. Steve, Boutros. Mr. Boutros. Thank you, Mr. Cynthia. <laughs> How can I get me a piece of that? <laughs> Mr. Mike, if your ad campaign is nearly as huge as its reputation, I'm sure we can get you two pieces of that. <laughs> Have a seat, Mr. Mike. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, Mrs. Cynthia tells us that you have a product that you would like us to advertise for you. Uh, yes, that's correct. We have no doubt we'll be able to help you sell your product. I'm sure she has shown you our brochures. Oh, yes, yes. I was uh, quite taken with your ad for toilet cakes. Like urinal cakes, only for feces. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet target system. I wrote that myself in this very room. <laughs> Do you have any ideas on how VBS advertising can assist you? Yeah, in order to begin our campaign, we'll need to focus and get a more thorough impression of the product. Okay, well... To begin with, I think we should look at some of the designs we have in mind for the product. Sounds okay. great. <laughs> ha! Paper two! <laughs> this, gentlemen, is the product of the future. Today's technology has allowed us to move beyond the normal old paper of yesteryear. No longer do trees have to die for our communication needs. Fascinating. You know, that reminds me of my father's first rule of business. If you can't find something new, change something old. <laughs> now, paper is more than just a rehash of the old style of paper. Here, let me, let me, let me show you. Ha! <laughs> huh? yeah. Now, we were thinking about a secretive billboard campaign. What is paper two? Find out. August 20th. It reminds me of my father's second rule of business. Always unveil on August 20th. <laughs> Always. Well, Mr. Mike, we can certainly look into this for the campaign, but first we need to gain a better understanding of the product. Now there I can help you. Ha! You see? Paper two can be playful. Not like ordinary paper. <laughs> I think this gives us a slightly better idea of the product. <laughs> and I think we all know that dead celebrities make excellent advertising figures. Mm, so I've gone ahead and I've uh, obtained the likeness rights for this little beauty. Ha! <laughs> That's right! Fred McMurray! <laughs> Who wouldn't want to buy a product from the happiest millionaire? We, we could even have a television spot with Fred singing, Follow me! Boys, follow me. I'm going to buy a whole case of paper, too. I can even see maybe a set of My Three Sons ads we can run on TV land, which reminds me of my father's third rule of business. Old enough to pee, old enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mike, look, so far you have suggested four completely divergent methods to advertise this product, but I have to say, I'm confused. Frankly, I, I, I'm absolutely confused. What exactly is paper two? I'm sorry, but your secretary assured me that your firm could advertise our product. Of course, of course, Mr. Mike. Haven't you heard about the 11,000 electronic fornicators we sold to the Vatican? <laughs> I've heard about it. It's legendary in the advertising world. It's what put VBS advertising on the map. Well, there, there must be something more you can tell us about paper two. Uh, what's it made of? How does it work? To begin with, paper two is similar to paper, and it can be used like paper is used. Can it be used in computer printers? No. No, not as they are right now. Technology will eventually have to be refitted for uh, our new paper. What? Can you imagine the cost of something like that? It would be impossible. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> you know, I've had second thoughts about this firm ever since I walked into this shoddy building. I think that this whole stupid advertising, stupid
stupid fern stinks. And I think that each and every one of you stinks. Stinks, 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 you stink, you stink, you stink, you stink, you stink. <laughs> Mr. Mike, please calm down. You see, we here at BBS will absolutely be able to sell paper tubes. But an overhaul of the entire paper system, it goes against hundreds, thousands of years of history. It would cost trillions of dollars. But I guarantee that the demand for paper too is enough to make any company stand up and take notice. We've already cemented deals with Canon and Xerox to retool their photocopiers with the others waiting in line. <laughs> but I can see that you're skittish about this idea, and who wouldn't be? The product is a huge risk. But with the greatest risks come the greatest rewards. Do you want to be the company that walked away from the biggest advertising campaign of this century? Certainly not. Of course not, Mr. Mike, but we have to see a sample of the product at least before we can move ahead. <coughs> oh, no, that's, that's quite impossible. The product is still being reproduced from its prototype in our factory. Well, then we're sorry. Our hands are tied. We cannot advertise for a product <coughs> that we've never seen. Well, I'm sorry, I just don't have the product with me. <laughs> we can't help you, Mr. Mike. At least not right now. I, perhaps when the product is finished, you can bring it here and we can, you know, help you then. But, but Paper 2 is ready to move on to the next phase! <laughs> this firm isn't going to move with it. <laughs> we'll find someone who will. We realize that, Mr. Mike. But. We cannot advertise for a product that we've never even seen. So this is a question of ethics? No, no. <laughs> We're just not that good at advertising. <laughs> Guys, I, I know just how to sell paper, too. We won't be able to keep the product on the shelves. <clears throat> just, just trust me, guys. Trust me! Put a little bit of trust in me! <laughs> and say, you'll take on paper two! It's your newest ad campaign! Come on! <laughs> Mr. Mike, we're sorry. We just cannot put the faith of a multi-billion dollar company on something that we have simply never seen. We're sorry. Well, gentlemen, let me see what I can do. Just so happens I had one remaining sample of the product in my minivan. <laughs> Gentlemen of VBS Advertising, I give you the product of the future. Paper tube! <laughs> will definitely change our computer printers. <laughs> well, what do you think, fellas? I think my wife's going to love paper two. <laughs> I think I'll love paper two. <laughs> Mr. Mike, we've got a product here. Wow, well, really? Absolutely, you betcha. We could advertise during the Super Bowl. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, we can sell to the publishing companies. I can see it right now. This product, this book, was made entirely from paper tube. <laughs> right? But we'll have to put it through a very thorough testing process. I think we should get started on that right away. Good idea. <laughs> Let's talk about this down at the Olive Garden. They serve everything family style. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 